Hi, I'm Lee. I'm going to talk to you about the Wominator bass pedals that I've made recently. So, first of all, um, the pedals themselves, they came from uh, a sort of 1970s vintage Hammond organ, and I've been sitting in my, my friend's cellar for the best part of 10 years before I, uh, I got hold of them. Um, the rest of the device, uh, so it's aluminium tread plate for the casing. We've got arcade buttons for the switches, which uh, illuminate, I'll show you later. Um, nice decal ordered off the, the internet. And then the, the brains of the unit is an Arduino Nano. And I've also got a, a YW Robot uh, 2x16 LCD display. Okay, so looking at the back, um, really, really simple. So you've got the USB or mini USB port for the uh, Arduino and then just a five pin MIDI out. So can't get any uh, simpler than that. So the, the power is through USB. Uh, you basically use a mobile phone charger with a standard uh, mini USB output for the power. Okay, so just to take you through the operation of the unit, first we'll power it up. Okay, so by default it starts up in polyphonic mode. Um, the, the mode is indicated on both on the LCD display and also the button here will glow in and out if it's on monophonic mode. So you'll start up on MIDI program 1. Um, using the buttons, the red buttons here, we can toggle through the MIDI programs. So um, I'm playing this at the moment through my MIDI sample player, which is also written up on the bass maker site. So this has basically just got audio out, MIDI in, and run off internal batteries at the moment. All of the, the samples are stored on the micro SD card, you can just see poking out the side. So that will respond to MIDI program change. So at the moment we've got polyphonic mode, so as you might expect it will play pretty much any notes that you uh, that you play, basically. Now using the buttons at the end we can also transpose up or down an octave and it will flash to indicate, so that's one octave up, it will flash twice as fast, two octaves up, three octaves up, etc. So, and then obviously we can cycle through different sounds with a MIDI program change. What's quite useful if you're playing this device, um, for example, if you're also playing a guitar, is if you go to mono mode, I'll just go to uh, program five, back to standard octave, it will basically sustain automatically the last note you press, which is quite handy if, you, if you're not um, playing all the time. So just to go down an octave, again, it will automatically um, mute the last the last note if you change uh, the octave so you can get quite deep on this and if I go to program 7 uh, it's quite a quite a nice sort of Moog Taurus sound Um, the, the yellow button on the end currently isn't implemented, so that's that's a spare function button. Um, I might in the future add some code so you can press function and then one of the key pedals to have one of 13 different functions. Okay, just a, a final other note. So one of the other features um, that I built in was with having the dual set of contacts on the pedal board, I was able to make it velocity sensitive. Um, I'm not quite sure how useful this is going to be in practice, but just to give a quick demonstration, um, I've plugged the unit into one of my synths, uh, which has got a piano sound on it. But just to show you the difference, if I press the, press the key lightly, it's, you know, it's not very loud. And then, 
So obviously that's that was quite a nice bonus feature that uh, you know I, I never expected to be able to do, but it was actually quite easy to do in the end. So why not? So so that's pretty much it. That's the Wominator, and thanks for watching.